the blood is falling. Pull it down me like rain. Got original 1969 Camaro SS. Original, Godliness with contentment. Original AM yeah, radio. You see uh, we've done a full restoration on the said, body and the front. With contentment. Uh, repainted the case, cleaned it all up, and we've done a full Aurora design conversion. A full conversion now consists of AM FM stereo, auxiliary in. Uh, four channels out, 45 watts a channel. Five pre-outs on it in case you want to add amps to your speakers. You have one feet speaker and including the sub, RCAs. Uh, this is your mic for your Bluetooth. It has Bluetooth, voice assistance, and voice command. We're going to run it in. It also has USB. This is your harness you'll be getting with your auxiliary end plug here and your USB and a stick drive. You can mount that anywhere you want to. It does come out of this uh, mount, so you can put it in a round hole or in your console, or whatever you like to do to it. Uh, we're going to run it in. Right now you're on FM stereo. Whoop. There it's broken. Never fails. Never fails. Air pressure comes on. We're going to run it in and see how it does. Right now you're on FM stereo, you got to operate an LED right back in there which changes colors for every status that the radio is in. Uh, this is your stereo LED, comes on when you hit a stereo channel. Push buttons preset still work like they always did. There we go. If you'd like to go to AM radio, just simply turn it off and right back on. Takes you to AM radio. Little LED turn red. Back off and right back on. Takes you right back to stereo. Treble, bass, like you always had. We're going to do a little Hello, auxiliary in. Three and a minor, opus 50 Show it how it works. Let me fire this Symphony, thing up. James got a little iPod. You can plug anything into it you want to. Uh, CD players, uh, satellite radios, your phone, anything that's got music on it you'd like to listen to. Organic produce and uh, you'll get a mail to mail cord. Healthy food, home delivered, and all you do is plug it in right here. And simply just turn your when device the on, the radio will switch to it. That's how your auxiliary end works automatic. You don't have to mess with the radio. Uh, it automatically goes to it. When you turn it off, just turn it off. And uh, the radio will cycle back around in 20 seconds to where you had it. Uh, if you don't want to wait to 20 seconds, just simply turn it off and right back on. Johann Strauss Sr. after he died. It had never been published, never been performed. And so it is now just... That's how your auxiliary end works. The Slovak Sinfonietta Zelina is conducted by Christian Pollock. I've got to get to do some charging on that. The optional push button is set up for that. You don't have to have it, but I like them. I do charge a little extra for them, but I, I think once you see how it works, it's, it's good to go. Next thing we're going to do is run our phone in on Bluetooth, see how that works. We're going to go to Bluetooth and make sure we're on. We're going to take the optional push button and just hold it down. Ready to pair. Voice assistant said you're ready to pair. It showed up on my phone. So all we're going to do is tap on it and she will let us know when it's done pairing.
Prayer. Device is connected. She let us know that. Now we're paired up. Uh, we're going to do a voice command on it. You don't have to use voice command. Uh, we're going to go to play music. We're going to go to my music by simply doing the same thing we did as pairing up. Hold it down. Play music. It's going to my music on my phone. If my phone acts right today. I hadn't turned it off in a while. Everybody that has phones, smartphones, it's good to turn them off, recharge them, let them boot, and bring them back up. We're going to do the same thing with this and we're going to turn it off. The music cut off because I went to Bluetooth again. Now the phone's cut off. We're back on an AM radio. We're going to fire it back up and redo that again and uh, see if my phone acts right. She said uh, the device is disconnected. So now we're going to fire it back up. You're listening to S. She found the phone again, so it's it's coming back up. Now we're back up running. Now let's do a voice command, see how it works. I got no money in my pockets. I got a hole in my play music. going to my music on my phone it always goes to a default lower volume want to change your music just tap on the push button it works your phone for you Back up repeat. Let's go ahead one one song. Now we're going to back up repeat. Hit it twice. Hit it twice again. It'll back up the next song. Hit it once. It'll go forward. That's the same way you answer your phone calls. The phone call will ring. Music will go away. Just tap this one time. Answer your call. Talk. Uh, when you're done, you can let it hang up on its own or tap it again to end the call twice. Yeah, I know I have a lot of weird music on my phone. I'm a redneck. There we go. Uh, you can simply just turn it off by hitting that. It'll cycle back around the radio, or you can use voice commands. Stop music. Put it in pause. We're going to go back to radio. Uh, you can do anything your phone will do with this push button. I like it. It's better than working the knobs all the time. Uh, that's how your Bluetooth works. Voice command and voice assistance. Uh, we're going to go to USB. You'll get a thumb drive with some music on it. I've built a file for you. That way when you put it in, you can check everything out after you install. And then add your music to the file or build another file. It'll all be in your manual you'll get. Once you plug it in, it'll go straight to it. Same way in doing your phone as you do the USB. Hit it once to advance. Twice to back up. We can continue backing up. We can go forward. Wow! I feel good. 
Now the nice thing about the push button, of course you can do it with the knobs too, is uh, you don't have to pull this stick out unless you want to charge your device. This will charge any USB device. Uh, just simply push the button in, hold it down one second to put it in pause. A lot of people like to hide this. It's gone to pause. This is going to blink a few times along with that LED in there. And now we're going to go back to radio where we had it left. Back on FM stereo. Same thing going down the road. If you want to bring your USB up, hold it down one second. Back on the stick. Put it back in pause one second. Back in pause, go back to radio. Uh, I like that. I'll, uh, that'll be in the email that I'll send you. Now we're going to do the balance and fader. Now that we have four speakers on it, all your AM radios only come out with treble and bass. Taking a moment to honor those who have served. Go to the center, which this one has a notch in it. Go clockwise twice with that treble and bass pot. One, two. It's going to beep. Now we're going into the face. Rear, front. As long as you're moving this, it will stay in that mode until you find what you want. And just simply stop. It'll beep once. Back on treble and bass. Go back to that same spot in it. This time we're going to go counterclockwise twice. It's a, like a 12 to 10 motion. One, two. It's going to do the same thing. It's going to beat, then we're going to go into the balance mode. There's your rights. There's your lefts. As long as we're moving, it's going to stay there. We're going to go back to the center and balance it out. Let it beat. Back on treble and bass. That's basically how, you, how everything works. A thousand keys. Behind the songs. Wilson County Administration. Now, what a first frame this song. Ain't no time Very powerful, clean radio now. It's the original 1969 Camaro SS AM radio with everything in it. I appreciate you letting me do it for you. Thank you.